Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel Programming Knowledge and in this particular video we are going to learn about how to work with array in JavaScript. Array is one of the most 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 important topic in JavaScript as in all the projects we are definitely going to use the concept of arrays. So we are going to learn about it in very detail. All the important concepts will be covered in this video. So make sure that you watch it till the end. Let's start. So we are on our Visual Studio board and let's understand the definition of array first. So definition of array. So what it is? So as you can see here, the definition of array says that an array is a special data structure that stores multiple values in a single variable. What it means? It means that normally what we were doing is that we were writing that a equals to 10 right a equals to 10 now what is happening here that your particular a variable is storing a single value 10 right but if i want to store multiple values inside a single variable a then how it can be done it can be done with the help of an array right then let's understand that how actually it is done so normally array is represented by a square bracket this is how you represent an array whatever the element you write inside the this these square bracket are the part of the array right so for writing array what we need to do is that just create a square bracket and inside of it write all the elements that you want to store like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 let's say 5 elements right i want to store these 5 elements inside a single variable so let's write a variable here that is a equals to this right and let's define a yeah it's a const whatever you can write let where const anything you want right okay so a is now having five different values one two three and four and five how because with the help of array this is the concept this is the definition what it is saying that a special data structure that stores multiple values inside a single variable and this is that single variable and this is the array right now a has five different values inside of it but you will say that how like how it will be represented when i print it let's see that how it will be shown let's uh, print it console.log and print the array right a this a is now an array because it is holding an array now, right so a let's print an array and how it will look on our website you can see this is the console and here you can see that it is printing what it is printing an array now i have called a and it is showing an array which is holding five different values inside of it one two three and four five right i hope you get it that how actually these different uh, multiple values are stored inside a single uh, keyword or a variable that is a right okay fine i hope you get it now let's move forward what is actually what is special about javascript array we need to understand this that every different language is having an array right so what is uh any is there anything which is special in javascript or it is also the same like other languages i will say yes the is, the array of javascript is actually very special how because it is heterogeneous your javascript array is a heterogeneous what it means it means that inside an array uh, wait const v equals to let's make an array right now inside of it you can store different data type of elements inside a single array in normal different languages what we do is that we create an array and inside of it we uh, we when we store the elements what we do is that we store a same data type elements inside an array like if you are storing numbers integers then all the element of an array should be an integer if you are storing a string then it should or that like all the elements should be a string but in javascript array you can store different data types like if i want to store 12 that is an integer it's good it will work fine if i want to store a string also i can store the string also inside the same array like uh, use yeah 
if you i want to store a boolean then even it will work also it can you can store a boolean also if you want to store an object you can also store an object also so this is how actually you store mixed variables inside a single inside a single variable of javascript with the help of javascript array let's see that how our b is looking so as you can see now i have printed b and it is looking like this at the index 0 it is having 12 at the index 1 it is having a string and the index 2 it is having a, a boolean and at index 3 it is having an object right so this is how you store different data types inside a single variable and that make it heterogeneous and that make it very special i hope you get it right okay let's move forward let's move forward uh, okay let me comment down this we are going to work with this particular array the array a equals to 1 2 3 4 and 5 right if i want to access you will see that uh, this particular variable a is having different values but what uh, like how we can access any particular element of that partic uh, particular array now this is the biggest question right so for that purpose what we do is that we simply have to access that particular element with the help of the index value now we'll say that what is this index value let me show you if you go and check you will see that all the elements like 1 2 3 4 and 5 are actually stored with the help of an index value which is 0 1 2 3 4 like this right the first element is stored at the index value 0 the second is stored at index value 1 this is incrementing right so uh, you need to understand this that the number of element you put inside an array but like here we have put five different elements so the number of index values the highest number of the index value will be n minus one that is here we are having five elements so largest number of index will be n minus one that is four as you can see here right why it is uh, having n minus one because it is starting from zero so zero will be also counted here in all the index values so zero one two three four and done not more than four because we are having five different elements here right i hope you get it so for accessing that element we are going to use that index value so what you have to do you simply have to uh, like write the name of the array that is a and then you have to put a square bracket and then you have to write the index value for like if i want to access this element three so what it is index value this is zero one and two so the index value of three is what two so if i write two here yes now i have got the particular value three and how i can print it we can print it by storing inside a variable or directly just putting it putting it into inside the console.log console.log now let's see that what value it is printing it is printing three that we want right that we want so this is how you access the element inside an array i hope you get it right okay now if i want to change the any value inside an array like if uh, i want to access four and then i want to uh, re remove this four and want another element to be inserted in the place of four uh, for example i want to store uh, nine at the place of four how we can do it simple it's a very simple method let me show you how you simply need to just write the name of the array that is a then you need to put the square bracket and simply you write the index value of that particular element that for the index value will be 0 1 2 and 3 right to so write the name or uh, write the index value that is 3 then make an equals to and then write the particular value which you want to change in, instead of that uh, that 4 right so i want to store 9 so simply you need to write this and now the value of that particular location that is index value 3 the value is changed from 4 or whatever value it will be there it will get changed to the 9 now let's print the array a right let's see that what value i'm going to get here now you can see here that in the array 
at the index value 3 the 4 is get changed to 9 so this is how you change actually you change the value inside an array right so this is very easy right so just practice one or two times and you will get comfortable with it i hope you get it now let's come to the next concept that is the operations the array operations so what we are going to learn now array operations let's remove all this right so what are array operations so mainly uh, we use four different operations right so what are those four different operations first is pop first is pop second is push uh, okay first is pop second is push third is shift and the fourth is unshift right so these are those four different operations which we perform on our javascript array regularly and this is what you need to learn right so let's uh, first comment it down and then now learn, let's see that how it actually works right so if i write the name of an array that is a and then i put a dot and then i write pop here so what it will do let's see on our console okay let's print it out first what it will do you can see here it has removed the last element last element of an array is removed so with the help of pop you actually remove the last element of an array as the array is having five values but when i applied pop on it it actually removed the last element that is five from here as you can see the five is removed and the last element is now four right yeah so this is what pop does now let's come to the next that is push what is push so push is actually used to push an extra element at the end of the array right so let's see that how it works let's uh, just write the name of the array a then write the push push and then put a bracket and uh, write whatever value you want to store at the last like i want to store 8 then let's go to the console and print our a now see one more value is now added at the end now the your array has become a six element array right so you can see here there are six different elements now one two three four five and one more element that is eight is now added so this is how you your push works right now let's see that what is shift and what is unshift so first uh comment it down okay now when i say that a dot shift what it will do it will okay first let me print or again what it will do it will actually remove the element from the first place as you can see here we were having one two three four and five but now it is two three four and five the first element got removed when we were using pop what were ha what was happening the last element was uh, removed but when we use shift the first element get removed so this is the operation which we use now what is unshift so if i write unshift right and inside of it i give a value name uh, let's say uh, let's let's give any value like 6 right so what it will do let's see now as you can see here now a new value that we have given with the help of unshift is now stored at the first element of an array right so this is how you do earlier what we learned that with the help of push we actually push a new value at the end of the array with the help of unshift we actually push a new value at the starting of the array i hope you get it right so these are the main part of an array and these are the thing which you actually need to learn while using array uh, i hope you get all the concepts clearly thank you for watching goodbye